Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how I made this daily layout using Procreate brushes. I am using, this is Good Notes 5, the Natural Digibujo 2019 by Jenny Golan Designs. I'll link all the information for the products I'm using down here. In YouTube there'll be a little down arrow so you can see where I got the products I'm using. And I am going to click my three dots in Good Notes and clear the page so that we can start from scratch. I'm going to save this page, use the up arrow, export, image, and export. Save image, puts the journal page itself into my camera roll. I'm going to go into Procreate, add, screen size, just so I have a big canvas. I'm going to click my wrench tool, add, insert photo, I'm going to pick up the last image, which is my journal, just so that I have a template to work in. Now, if you've already done this last week or yesterday, you only have to do this, import the image one time. You don't have to keep doing it over and over. But I like to show it every video, just in case you haven't seen my other ones. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, I'm not using any stickers today, just brushes, so I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to click a pretty dark green. I like greens. And I'm going to pick my first brush. Um, let's see. Planner Labels is a pack of brushes that comes with all of these. And I happen to like this rectangle. So we're going to pick a nice big size. Tap the screen. Arrow tool. Rotate. And my arrow tool is still selected. I'm just going to make this as big as I want to make it. And now this is not letting me see the whole journal, so I'm going to resize and simply make it fill my screen. Okay. Now I'm going to use my selector tool, automatic, and I want to select the inside of that. I'm going to change my color spot. I'm going to drag into that selected item to change it to black. I'm going to go to another brush. Page Creator is a new brush pack that Jenny came out with and um, I want to add page lines to that. So I'm going to click the page lines brush. Oops. I'm going to click my circle and pick a white for my color. I'm going to click selector again. Select that same rectangle. And in my pen mode, I'm going to draw in some lines. Now that's an awful faint, so I'm going to back up one. I'm going to click the next one. That was a thin page line, so I'm going to go to regular page lines. And that's a bigger line. I like that better. Deselect. And now I have lines on my black slate. Okay, I'm going to go and add a layer. And I'm going to pick a pretty purple. Brushes. I'm going to Floral Frames. Floral Flames, Frames is another brush pack. And I want this one in particular. Make it pretty big. Tap on the screen. And just size it to where I want it. Okay, we'll go off the screen just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to, in that same layer, I'm going to slide and duplicate. So I have two of those. And I'll just match it on the other side. Okay, add a layer. I'm going to go to that same floral frames pick a darker color and drop that here to 
too small. Two finger tap erases. Make it a little bigger. Tap. If it's still a little small, use your arrow tool and just make it the size that you want. Okay. I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to pick a green paintbrush and now I'm going to go to a, a standard paintbrush from that comes with a Procreate, the round brush and I'm just going to pick my size pick a color and I'm just going to lightly color in my flowers I'm not being perfect here, it's more of a watercolor effect. Okay, now the pencil is pressure sensitive, so the more I press, the more color I get. I don't want to press too much, if you press too hard, you get that. Press a little bit. Okay, two finger tap erase. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to pick a green. I'm in that same brush. Make it a little smaller. And I'm just going to make... Again, I'm not being very neat here. I'm just doing a watercolor effect. So I have color, but not perfection. If you want to be perfect, by all means, Take the time to fill this in neatly, but I like the watercolor effect. If I go too far the lines, I can pick an eraser and simply clean up a little bit personal preference here. Like I said, it's I'm going for a watercolor. So I'm not too concerned about staying in the lines. Maybe just a little bit. Okay. All right. Now let's add a little yellow. Now I could go in a new layer, but I'm not going to worry about it. Just fill in the center. Whoops, see if you press too hard. Two finger tap to erase. If you press too hard, it gets really bold. Okay, there's my flowers. And I add, whoops, add another layer. Go back to my same green brush strokes. I'm going to pick a drawing brush the chisel. Just because I think it's pretty. Now I'm not, my lettering is not perfect, but this works for me. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to pick a perfect marker in white and add in my title here. Okay. 
and anything that I make or write in this Procreate screen will not be erased when I move it into GoodNotes. You'll see here in a minute. So that's my finished design here. So I'm going to turn off the journal layer and off the background layer so that when I save it goes transparent. The wrench tool, share, PNG, and save the image. That puts it into the camera roll. Go back into Procreate, click the image tool. The last one here will be the one you want, or if you click that, moments, it'll be the last one there. Okay, it's the same image. Depends on how you want to pick it up. So now I'm just going to make it fit in my journal. Drop it into place. Now I can, with my Good Notes tools, I can finish writing in here. Now if, well let's see, I can write. If I erase in Good Notes, I'm not going to erase any of the picture that I made in Procreate, okay? But it will erase the handwriting that I write in here. So I'm going to pick a nice bold yellow so it shows up on my chalkboard. Make my check boxes pink, a hot pink, and I can write in my list. So this way, my list is movable, changeable, but all of the pretties, the background, is not going to be erased by my GoodNotes tools. So there's my easy daily spread using Procreate brushes. Thanks for watching.